Well, it's that time of the year again. Time for an oil change. In this video, we're going to be doing an oil change on my 2022 MV Agusta Brutale 800RR. So come along and I'll show you how to do it. Let's first start out with what we're going to need. The manual calls for Motul 7100-4T-5W-40. It is quite expensive. I will put a link in the description to the oil filter and the oil. I often buy the oil on Amazon. A lot of times the price goes down to under $50 for four liters, which is quite a good deal. At the store, it can be as expensive where I am as $20 per liter, which is about $80 for the same amount. So it does help if you get it in the larger containers. Online, there are other retailers that do sell it for a much better price as well. The oil filter that is required for this model is a high flow oil filter, product number HF569. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. Some of the other things we're gonna need, paper towels, of course, a four millimeter hex drive, an eight millimeter hex drive, a T27 Torx for the oil filter, a ratchet, smaller ratchet if we need it, rubber gloves. I definitely like to wear rubber gloves when I'm working with the oil and an oil drain pan. And perhaps something else that I forgot that I'll let you know along the way. I just got back from a ride about half an hour ago. So I know the bike is warmed up. The oil is warm. It's going to flow well. I do have it set up on my pit bull stands to get it up a little higher, which makes it easier to get down and work on it. After I get everything done and the oil starts draining, I'll let the front stand down to tip it forward a little bit to help all the oil drain out. It is easier to drain the oil when the oil is warm. So letting the bike run for a few minutes to warm it up, then letting it sit will help get all the oil down in the bottom of the drain pan and help the oil flow out. But be careful if you do run the bike in the garage, make sure you have the door open, ventilation going, and also be careful because if the bike is very hot, the oil is hot and it can burn you. So make sure you're cautious when it comes to that. So let's jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is remove the three screws in the lower panel using an M4 hex drive. Once that is removed, we can have better access to the oil filter and the oil drain plug. Now I'm going to put the oil drain pan underneath the bike and start removing the oil drain plug. Be careful, the exhaust is still probably hot if you had just ran the bike to heat up the oil. We're going to use an eight millimeter hex drive to remove the drain plug and be careful Again, when you're working right next to the exhaust, it can be hot. And when you get oil all over your tools, they become very slippery too. So make sure not to drop them into the oil drain pan. These are the three screws that need to be removed to take out the oil filter, and they use the T27 Torx bit. Once I get them loosened, I like to just use the extension and the bit to remove them by hand. They're small screws, so you don't want to overstress anything. And be careful again, because those tools are slippery when they're covered in oil. Once the three screws are removed, there is an O-ring around the bottom part, and that is going to keep it snug in there. So just kind of work it back and forth and wiggle it until it comes out, and you're going to get a bunch of oil that pours out. And again, I do stress, be careful if the oil is very hot, it will burn you. So make sure you let the bike cool down after you've ran it for a little bit. In between the oil filter and the bottom piece, there is a spring which can pop out into the oil. So be careful not to lose that. The first time I did do an oil change, I let that fall into the oil and then I had to dig through it. Once most of the oil has drained out, I like to come back with a rag and some simple cleaner and wipe off the exhaust and some of the remaining oil. Now I'm going to lower the bike just to get the last bit of oil out and let it flow into the drain pan. Now that the last of the oil is draining out of the bike, I can show you the piece that we had to remove in order to get to the oil filter and the oil drain plug. You also notice that I do have black grommets in here. The ones that come with the bike are a salmon color, extremely ugly in my opinion. So I just went to the hardware store and got some black ones to replace them with. And in my opinion, they look a lot better. This is the piece that holds the oil filter in. These are the th three screws that you have to remove. When you are taking this off, you wanna be very careful because this spring sits right there and it's very easy for it to fall into the drain pan and you for you to lose it. So be careful when you're removing it. So the oil filter is going to sit right on that spring and that's going to provide pressure on this rubber seal to press up on the inside and create a tight seal. Before I put it in, I do like to just take a little bit of oil and rub it around that seal just to make sure we get a good seal. Another thing to note, the drain plug does have a magnet in it. So you will see some small metal fragments on there from the inside of the engine that gets circulated through the oil. 
It's a good idea to just wipe that off with a paper towel. I already did that, so you don't really see many on there. So I'm just gonna take a small bit of oil and just get that seal a little oily. And be careful, because oil is a very good lubricant, and I dropped my socket into the oil pan twice while I was taking this off. Before I reinstall the oil filter assembly, I like to give everything one more wipe down with some simple cleaner and a paper towel just to make sure everything is off the exhaust while it's exposed. When you're installing the oil filter, you wanna make sure that that stays straight on top of the spring and it doesn't tip side to side. Therefore, it will come up into the center of the opening and make a nice seal in there. Again, there is an O-ring around that piece that we removed, so it will be a little snug when you first put it in. I like to get it set in there by hand, then hand tighten the screws and then come back with the socket extension and then the socket. I do not know if there is any specific torque specs for this. Again, the manual is not very detailed, so I just like to make them hand tight and then give them a little twist after that. They are small screws, so I don't think they need to be that tight. After that's done, we reinstall the oil drain plug, give one more wipe down. Can you believe I forgot to mention something? The most important thing when you're changing oil, a funnel. Yes, this is the funnel I like to use. It's a pretty long one. Where you put the oil into it is kind of hard to get to with a shorter, wider funnel, so I found this style funnel works the best. Now that we have the new filter installed, the drain plug is back in, we can put some oil in. This is a picture of the manual as far as what it discusses for oil. All it says is the type of fluids that are in here. I actually had to do quite a bit of looking around to find the amount of oil you're supposed to put in there. I think MV wants you to go to the dealer to have all stuff done. So one of the things I also like to do is I save the receipts for the oil filters and also for the oil that I have purchased for the bike. The MV tech that I spoke to said that when you're changing the filter, and the oil, that 2.7 liters is about what you need. So that's what I go with. I try to shoot for 2.7, maybe I'll do 2.5, let the bike run for a little bit, let it cool down, and then check it again and make sure I'm between the two lines on the dipstick. That seems to be what works best for me. If I can find out any more exact information, I will put it in the description of the video. But again, the manual is not very specific when it comes to any maintenance on the bike. I believe they want you to take it into the dealer to have every single thing done for it. After I run it for a ride, I'll come back, do the same thing, check the oil. When you're checking the oil, make sure the bike is level and upright, not on its side stand. As you can see, the oil fill spout is pretty hard to get to with a shorter funnel. That's why this long funnel works well. I will put a link to this funnel in the description also if you want to purchase one like it. They have these at every type of automotive or motorcycle store. After putting the oil in, I run the bike for a few minutes, then remove the dipstick and check the oil. As you can see, we are just at the top line. So what I do is then let it run again for a few minutes, let it cool down and check it again. Well, that wraps up the oil change. This is something very easy that most people can do without any trouble. The whole process maybe takes about a half an hour. The first time you do it may take a little bit longer, but do take your time. Make sure you get everything threaded right. Make sure you don't drop any of the bolts into the oil drain pan. Make sure you don't drop the spring in there. The last thing I wanna point out is in the manual for scheduled maintenance, it states the first 600 miles, which is common with any bike. Once you're braking in the engine, you wanna do an oil change at around 600 miles or a thousand kilometers. In this manual for the MV Agusta Brutale, I'm not sure how it is for the Dragster or other MV models, but the manual actually states that the next service is not until 9,000 miles or 15,000 kilometers. This is not true from what I understand. They do want you to change the oil every 3,000 miles from what I believe, and I believe that is an error. If that is an error, and I can confirm that with someone from MV, which I'm pretty sure I did, I will put the correct information in the description to the video. I personally, I don't think it's a problem to change the oil a little more often, especially if you're riding hard. I think it's a good thing to get that oil changed. It is expensive oil, but it's an expensive motorcycle. And if that's gonna help the engine last a little longer, stay healthier, then I'm gonna change the oil a little more frequently. If you have any questions about this process, let me know in the comments. Also check out one of my other videos. I'm going to have a whole playlist put together of all the things that I've done to my bike, some maintenance, some add-ons. Check out those videos, they may be helpful. If you have any questions again, let me know. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. Thanks for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one.